Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Coffee Seat Dope. My name is Christiana. Hopefully, you all have come to know and love and appreciate what the Cafecito does. You all, if you're new to joining us, the Cafecito is about everyday people doing extraordinary things. And of course, I always say that those extraordinary people are you and those in your inner circle. Always remember that extraordinary does not have to be something grandiose that's outside of your, your sphere. It's doing the work, the day-to-day -day work to ensure that you are elevating your community, your family into a better situation. Before we get into who our amazing guests are today, I want to give a shout out to We The Plug. We The Plug is an organization that works with early stage founders from ideation all the way to first seat round funding, if that's something they're interested in, as well as hyper-focusing on Pan-African and Latinx founders to ensure that there is equality um, in every part of their journey as a early stage founder. If this sounds like something you're interested in learning more about, you can find us online at we the plug, that's T-H-A, not T-H-E, dot com. Okay, you guys, I'm so excited to bring this amazing team to you all today. Those of you all who are listening and may not be watching, you can definitely check us out on YouTube to watch the video. But if you're listening on our podcast, you all know that I usually just work with um, or interview individuals. But today I have a dynamic team, a mom and daughter team that I'm so excited to bring to you all today. And I want to welcome you all, Mariah and Nala Rocks, to the Cafecito. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Cheers. Hi. What? Cheers. Cheers. Okay. You know, before we got started, we talked about what we were drinking. I have water. I'm getting a little hydrated. Um, what are we drinking on your end, ladies? Nalara? Uh, I secret special. Oh. <laughs> secret special. Okay. Ladies and gents that are listening and watching, we're not giving away the formula, but it's a secret agent that is empowering this young lady. Uh, Mom, what are we drinking today? I'm drinking a good old fashioned Starbucks coffee. What? <laughs> <laughs> brew, Starbucks coffee. Shout out to Krups. I love it. You are the only one here that is actually drinking cafecito, and I love it. <laughs> well, um, again, I want to thank you all both for taking out time to speak with us today. Um, for those of you all who are listening, um, Mariah, mom, is a dynamic, powerful um, businesswoman, and she has uh, been one half of the dynamic team that have given birth to this amazing um, young lady, um, her daughter that is sitting with her today, Nala Rocks. I feel like there's like this sound of trumpets coming. <laughs> <laughs> but today we're going to focus on Ms. Nala Rocks and um, Mariah, how you've been able to help navigate her through um, this process of her becoming a young business entrepreneur. Uh, so before we get into all the details and everything, can you all tell the people who you are and what you do? Okay, well, so I guess I'll start since I'm mom. Um, so as you mentioned, I'm Mariah like concern founding partner of Diversity Ventures, which is a venture capital firm focused on impact-oriented companies, social, economic, and or environmental. And we look for that impact, inclusive teams, and high potential for outsized returns. Uh, I was also a Aspen Tech Policy Hub fellow, so I'm rocking my tech funding equity shirt, which um, is a project that I initiated to solve the problem, the policy problem of how might we close the funding gap for underrepresented founders of color, which resulted in some outputs that the impact both um, public policy at the SEC regulatory level and private policy in the LP, GP, you know, uh, founders, you know, kind of, I guess, supply chain or hierarchy. So that's what I do. And the lady, oh, Nala Rocks and Nala Rocks. <laughs> Nala Rocks, tell the people who you are and what you do. Um, so I, well, I was told to think about what I say before I say it so that I don't stutter. So while I think, I'm just going to say, you did not see me drink this 
in under 30 seconds. We did not. You are a magician. <laughs> um, so I run a business. I, it's called Kitty Girls Club. I work on it. I make the Instagram posts on Canva. Wow. <laughs> I, um, I also like to draw in my spare time and my spare time, I mean, sometimes I'm like, okay, ignore the math quiz. Hey, here's a fancy drawing idea. <laughs> but, um, yeah, <laughs> but like, I like to draw, I write books, I write movies, shows. Oh my. Yeah, I, um, I, songs? yeah, songs, I write songs. Wow. So anyone who's listening to this may think, oh my gosh, this is a very grown and mature young woman. How old are you? I'm 11. 11 years old. And you are not only, uh, have started your own business, but you also are creative in cre- filming, writing music, and also it sounds like design as well. You create all your social media content. Yep. And I um, have like a slight one-time experience in sewing. I tried to sew my pants. You can still see the hole, but you know, it's kind of patched up. Sewing, sewing. Yeah, we're still working. So you sew as well. She's working on it. We have a sewing machine. We're getting into some lessons. Um, but, oh, we have a, a rogue kid. Where's she going? Cat? Charger. Okay. I, 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 she charger. went to go get the sewing machine. Oh, her no, charger. Oh, okay. charger. Hey, okay, right things like this happen. Uh, you all um, just know that she's also a set designer as well. She helped stage the set for uh, the background that they, we are viewing right now. And also she's operating as engineer because she saw that the battery was low and took charge to make sure that was taken care of. Just, you know, I can't even say you're a triple threat. You're more than a triple threat. What is it that you cannot do? Okay. The sky is not the limit. There is no limit. All things are possible. So Miss Nala Rocks, you know, most that are listening to this are probably wondering to themselves, how did 11 year old like get into this like how how do you even start and did you start just now at the age of 11 or was it earlier well oh I forgot to mention that I'd like to act um but like uh I started acting like like I wasn't like in like movies or anything when I was like three four but like I remember I watched Frozen and I was literally from like three years old to like five or six I was literally Elsa for like two or three years <laughs> wait so mom she walked around the house as Elsa okay so there was something before that she used to watch this um show called Octonauts and uh I was the- always playing the pirate cat what's the name you you would play quasi I didn't know if it was quasi wazi whatever but <laughs> She was a pirate cat. He was a pirate, he was a pirate cat. cat? Yes, okay, he was he's a pirate captain cat. of the just, ship. No, he wasn't okay. the captain of the ship. No, the captain was Captain Barnacles, who was a polar bear. Okay. It doesn't even belong in the ocean. So of all the characters, she chose the one that was a pirate. So there's kind of a theme that, that emerged there. So first she was, I, I think she was that character first, Quasi or yeah, Quasi, I think it's called. And okay. she would have us refer to her as Quasi. She was trying to cast us as other <laughs> characters. And I was like, what is going on? And she then, I think, I think you might have got into the word girl character around that time too before. No, I got into that after Frozen. That there, was like the last one where I really did that. Well, the reason why I suspect that is because at one point she was like playing all these boy characters and she was like, don't worry, mom, I'm only pretending to be a boy. And then I realized, oh, I need to expose her to more females I mean I wasn't worried about it that you know what I'm saying but she kind of perceived some kind of concern there and so I said I need to to show more um gender diverse representations of heroes and even you know um baddies so um I do remember in word girl which is like a pbs show there's a character the protagonist is word girl and she's you know 
solves problems with words. I was word girl for Halloween at some point. I think it yeah, was 2016. Like, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it was you're 2016. Like but there's another character who's um, called Two Brains. And so he's like this scientist who used to be a good guy and he pushed this whole cow don't press this button button. Well, actually he didn't press it. His evil lab rat pressed it. And so then oh. he turned part mouse. And he has his little mouse brain. So she was him turning cities into cheese everywhere. We had to evict <laughs> that character. But she basically was a method actor but, from but, about three years but, old. But why, why did, I mean, like, I, I'm glad that I'm not him anymore, but like, why remove him over stealing a friend's hamster plushie and calling it cheesy? No, that's not what happened. You were going into people's homes, turning everything into cheese. Oh my God. Her. <laughs> Wait, did she actually have cheese? How old were you when you were doing this? Do you remember, Nala Rock? I, I was like six or seven or both. <laughs> the thing is she so, was always in character and so where wherever we would go she would be acting out these this character and what that character would do and so like we couldn't even have Nala Rocks that you know it was like she's turning everything into cheese acting that out and so um yeah we had to evict him because he was just such an antagonist so I was like okay he's banned you're gonna have to find somebody else to emulate because yeah but that's her method she gets really into it she gets a script, she memorizes it like that, you know, memorizes a song. Oh. It's just inner, it's just, I don't yeah. memorize my songs. I, I, I literally am like, stop the recording, do that again, because I was not looking at the script and I messed it up. Oh. That's really right. yeah. yeah, but like when she was Elsa, I mean, she would, it was just at a, such a young age, she was Elsa at, for her fifth birthday. So it must've been like three, four, five or okay. whenever that came out. And she would um, just listen to all those songs over and over again, practice singing I, and very I had, motivated. I had memorized the whole Let It Go song. And now I forgot like little pieces of it everywhere. Like, it's like, 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 like you dropped the vase and like the glasses shattered everywhere under the couch, flew into the wall and you just can't, <laughs> you know, you are like the epitome of why it's so important to encourage and support imagination play or imaginative play, because you never know what that creative outlet will do for a child as they are becoming, you know, themselves, right? Nala Rocks, I want to talk about how your imagination has and this imagination play help create your company that you have now how did that happen like how did I get the idea yeah um so originally it was gonna be like really copyrighted like I've actually never like mentioned this on like my social media or anything but like if you really want to know I really hate to say this but there's this one episode of the boss baby show where the boss baby's big brother oh. kid big kids only club because he was really annoyed with his younger brother and I was like okay I want to create a club and I was like wait I've had some really terrible experiences with boys so let me just make it the kitty girls club where it's girls only <laughs> and yet my mom is, is always like you should make it the cutie kids club so that all the kids can join and I was like okay fine non-binary people can join but not boys not boys <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Very clear and distinct on what is happening now. And but, so but there's another piece of that because there's a, a reason why you decided to go for cutie girls that had to do with another experience you had, right? Oh, the one where was it the Christmas party? Yeah. Yeah, so I was at a Christmas party and like I was like, hey everyone, girls are so cool. Well, actually I was like Hey, do you think girls are cool? And they were, and they were like, "No, girls, girls aren't. Girls aren't fun. Girls are boring. You play with LOLs and Barbies." And I was like, "Excuse me, are you oh. looking for a fight?" And they got a fight. So I, so we had like a whole like rap battle contest. What? <laughs> about knowing how to skateboard, which I'm actually just now knowing, learning how to skateboard. But I do actually, I did actually have a skateboard at that time, but I'm like just now using it. And i and, and, and like, and, and like finally, and like my friend didn't even help me. She was, and just, and like, she was on like the upper floor and I just looked up there and she smiled and she was like, Hey. You got this. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you were inspired to create this because you found that 
even at your young age, that there was kind of like this view of young girls um, that was not as positive as it should be, and you wanted to change that? Uh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. And so tell us, like, what does, what is, what is the company that you created? Like, what do you do? What is it products? Is it a service? Like, what is it? Um, well, I do sell products on the website, but tgirlclub.store. I have another website, but I'm not going to like put it out there yet because like I, I have to like, like the store is like pastel colors and then the old one is neon. It has a bunch of nonsense on it. So I have to, so I have to remove some stuff from 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 the from the old website, change the color scheme, all, okay. all of it. so um like you want to show us some of the things that you sell on there and talk about them? Yeah, so one is this shirt. I sell that. And um, actually I sell a different I mean, I, I made this one just for, I saw a different kind. I'm probably going to start selling this one now that I think about it. I'm probably going to start selling this one instead. But there was actually, I'm selling a different one on my store. It's like a princess tea. I use Printify, so it's like a, it's like a girl's princess tea. But I was like, you know what? That looks kind of like stretchy and loose. I don't think that's going to fit me. So I have like growth delay and like, even the, this, this shirt right here, you see how it's loose? It's literally, this is literally extra small is it? yes this is extra small and yeah probably extra small oh extra small you <laughs> yeah and so um so i actually just made this one like you no know let me just get a different type so actually it's only this one just for me and then here i have this pillow wow can you describe it for those that may be listening and not watching can you describe like what is the um the logo um that's on the pillow and the t-shirts. So it's like a girl with like brown skin, black hair, with with like with like puff buns. Oh gosh, I almost dropped it. And um, one blue rubber band, one red rubber band, which I think I think at some point I was also going around this Harley Quinn, so I think I was like partially inspired by that. <laughs> it's, like it's twelve o'clock. Oh gosh, I should have said that part again. Okay. So, it has like it has like a microphone and you can't it just is. so it, it so it has a microphone and it and it's um it has ears yes. <laughs> it has um it has like words in rainbow saying q girls club at the bottom it has a pink heart a blue lightning bolt and a yellow star what does that stand for wow this is the logo so what is so, the logo which she she designed she used some clip art in this but what does this stand for so um the heart stands for love because like we want like all the girls like mm -hmm. like here it, it don't don't worry if somebody if somebody like bullies you or something you're gonna contact their parents they're already scared of that happening so it's a very low chance come on in you're welcomed and then <laughs> this, this one the lightning bolt is like strength because girls are strong and That's very right. underrated very very underrated in the 1800s girls couldn't even work they 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 were just they were just like and, okay yeah yeah like and like girls like girls like didn't really i mean i think they were going to school at that point but like some girls like were like no you don't need to go to school all you have to learn is just stay home right. cook so watch the baby so like girls are really <laughs> underrated so like this lightning bolt shows like girls are very strong and powerful. Yes. Even even the small and dainty ones like me. <laughs> I took three yes. martial arts classes. Don't mess with me. Okay. <laughs> Look, and, let it be known. <laughs> yeah, and then the star is um is like brilliant. Girls are smart. That's all I have to say about that one. <laughs> wow. Oh, you know, I really appreciate and I really love for those of you all maybe listening, not watching, we'll have all the links below so you all can check out the site and the logo and the meaning behind it. And even um, Nala Rocks, when I was looking at the microphone, at first I thought it was like a ice cream cone or something like that. But can you give the, um, but when I saw it up closer, I saw, oh no, that's a microphone. Talk to me about what's the symbolism around the microphone? Why is that important? 
when I was younger, I didn't know that you couldn't fit like millions of members on, on, on one stage. So, so literally on the old website, at some point, my mom changed this and I was like, mom, why did you do that? At some point it said, your, your girl will become a pop star and part of our band, guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then now I'm finally like, why did I do that? <laughs> but um, um, yeah, so now I'm just like, I'm planning to have a band. I have to go get some of my friends to, to be members. Like I do, I have a friend who's like a really, really good singer. So shout out to her if she knows that I'm talking about her. So she actually sent me a video of her singing on Messenger Kids, and she was and she was amazing. She was like better than really? me. Like I just now got a singing voice, and even her, she is. I think she's like slightly older than me. Cause I'm, and plus, I have growth the way she doesn't, so her voice is kind of more developed. But like, point is, she's an amazing singer. So I'm probably gonna get her in my band, even though she lives across the street. So, <laughs> what about uh, Lindy? Oh, shout out to Lindy. She's one of my best friends. So, um. So uh, she plays the saxophone. So she is already oh. in my band. We're kind of holding off the band until we get some more members because we can't call it a band if it's only two people. It has to be at least three. <laughs> okay, so you have a saxophone player already. Um, you have two singers. Yeah, so I'm a singer. My friend is a singer. I might occasionally play drum set. As I'm, I, like, I never played a drum set. Like I've like tapped on the drum set at church. Sure. Looking, but like, like, <laughs> like, like. I, I hope, I hope, I hope nobody was looking at me. But um, but like, um, but like, like I, like even on Garage Band, like I can just like tap it and I can like see the rhythm. Like I don't even. I've never taken drum classes. I've never. I didn't. I don't know which part of the drum does what, but I can just pick up those things and go. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, I have to ask you, like, what, I mean, at what stage date did you know that all of this was inside of her? And what did you and dad do to help, um, uh, you know, this expression come out in the way it has? And, um, it, you know, how involved are you all? Tell us a little bit about that process. Well, we try to be as supportive as possible. In fact, when she was charging up, dad came and was like, hey, I'm here to, you know, but, uh, so anyway, um, so we, he has a background in motion picture producing or production and oh, I have dad a background does. in motion picture producing and oh. my family is very creative. Um, and my dad was, had several bands. Uh, she he was a drummer in one of his bands at one point when she was a kid. And, uh, you know, he also was in a lot of different movies and he performed and he painted. So he was definitely a fine artist. And my my brother's a songwriter, taught himself piano, et cetera. Oh, wow. So there's probably just a part that's like how our family is wired. I know my husband has, um, you know, guitar players and one of his aunties works at the television station. So I think she sees kind of what we do. Oh, he's been an editor, you know, the whole time since she was born, he's been an editor. Um, but for the most part, we just support her. So she sees what we do and maybe that gives her some initiative and she has access. She's fortunate to have a computer at home and tablet. I think another part of it is kind of speaks to what you were mentioning earlier about creative play. Um, we opted for a number of reasons from school shootings and, you know, curriculum wanting to, um, you know, just be able to mediate the message in terms of cultural sensitivity and, you know, wanting to have the freedom to travel since we're both right. entrepreneurs. Right. So we decided to homeschool her and um, she goes oh. to a public charter homeschool. Yeah. I, I do, and, and high, I, I am planning to go to high school, though. I've been like, hey, mom, can I go to high school? And we talked oh. to, like, there's a creative yeah. art um, high school. There's actually two creative arts focused high schools in our area if we remain here. Yeah. Um, but so we decided for, you know, all those reasons, and she mentioned, like, you know, her growth delay. She has, like, food sensitivities and stuff. And mm -hmm. um, so we, we wanted, for all of those reasons, to homeschool her. So she's been homeschooled since kindergarten and within the programs that we have her in, we have freedom, parent choice around the method of learning. So we chose, um, you know, primarily the natural learning method. So for example, if we're baking muffins and she's learning fractions through measuring cups, et cetera, that's natural course. learning. Or we're going on a field trip, we're traveling for business or whatever, and we're discussing what we're doing on the trip or, you know, all of that is natural learning. And then she, you know, does online uh, common core curriculum, 
which is self-paced so she can advance where she's you know, advance, and if she needs a little more work, she's not tied to a cohort, um, like limited to that. So right. that gave us, you know, kind of freedom around curriculum where she's not in a class and doing busy work so that the yeah. teacher can you know, the kids, which means she has a lot more time to play and decide what she wants to do. So as long as she's getting her assignments done and she's doing her attendance and everything, um, and she's making progress, she checks in with the educational specialist every 20 days, she tests like three times a year. And um, so as long as she's covering those bases, then we give her a lot of freedom. And the okay. school also allows us to choose vendors um, for her extracurricular activities instead of just being limited to whatever this particular school offers. Oh, so very like, nice. And being able to do martial arts. She's done capoeira. She's oh. done acting. Oh, capoeira. I love capoeira. Classes. Yeah. So I took gymnastics. Gymnastics. She was doing. I'm an expert. Well, I'm not an uh, expert. Like there's this girl. Like, I don't know if I'm saying her name wrong. I'm sorry if I am, but I think her name is like Chloe or something. I saw one of her Instagram posts. She can put her foot over her head, but I'm Whoa. also good at high kicks. I can like put it like up. <laughs> so just let her try different things that she's interested in. She has an electric guitar and, um, acoustic and an acoustic guitar. guitar. She's got had a keyboard, you know, her whole life. Even as a baby, we got a little baby keyboard and when I when she'd wake up early and I was groggy, like please give me another hour of sleep, I'd just give her a little kitty keyboard and she would play that for it. And I'd get it like a half hour maybe if I was lucky. So we just put those things around her, you know, our little oh, karaoke yeah. machine. And you know, like uh, she, like I mentioned earlier, she taught herself iMovie, and she was like, "Mom, can you teach me how to do narration?" And I was like, "Oh, I didn't even know you taught yourself iMovie." And we put her in Scratch so she could start learning to code. And actually, first we did code.org, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, this is so boring." Then we got to Tinker, and I was <laughs> like, "Okay, this is cool, but where are like where 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 uh, there, there's not enough social here? Like, uh -huh. like making projects to respond to each other, and then." And then I got Scratch, like I, 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 I made a Scratch account and I was like, mom, please don't get mad at me. And then one day, like it wasn't letting me confirm so I could like share products and stuff. And I was, uh -huh. like, I was like, well, it's probably not going to let me confirm. Let me just see if it's, if it works now. And I click boop and it confirms it. Out. And I was like, so I, I like, like in my bio, I put nothing to see here. I don't use Scratch. And my first product was like, I don't. <laughs> Scratch, get off my profile. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you were very clear with what your expectations were from these um, platforms that you were engaging with. I think that's something, you know, for those that may be listening, um, you heard uh, quite a few references to platforms that they've used. We'll definitely put links in there if that's something you all want to explore with your own children or nieces or nephews or whoever may be in your life that um, you think could be, be uh, that could benefit from this. Um, so when we're looking at this amazing human being and she's being creative and she's expressing herself, um, again, I think a lot of parents um, can relate to that or caregivers can relate. Oh yeah, we encourage whatever. How did that then transfer to let's start a business with a whole LLC and website and all of that? And Nala Rocks, you run this. I mean, I know personally that it's not mom and dad running your account. You run your account because you and I have had interactions and you knew all of the business dealings and what I needed to know in order to promote. And so like, how did you get to that stage? Um, I, I was just like, hey mom, can, 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 can you make me a website? Like, well, the first time I made a website it was with Wix and you know, back to the word girl phase i made like a two brains cheese ice cream flavor themed website i didn't publish it or anything but like i was like okay because my dad showed me like how to create a website he made me a wix account and then my mom and then and then, and then i started getting like better and better at it i kind of gave up on it so because it started lagging like really, 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 really badly yeah like but like i was like when i was like hey mom look i made a website for cute girls club and she was like uh, uh yeah it, it's nice it, 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 it's a little work and so then she helped me she made like like you know when you like scroll down and like the image kind of like scrolls with parallax, yes. yeah she made like the parallax stuff i don't even i still don't know how to do that i was like oh my gosh mom is a magician. and so like 
Um, so like I made the first Kitty Girl Club website and I had an e-commerce store on there, but like no one was buying it and it just looks like, ugly. So I was like, boop, hide that page, add a new page. Huh? Said, oh, sorry that you for the dead end. We uh, moved our shop. Click this button to go. Boop, and it redirects you. So I have to say this. So, okay, all of that is true. Actually, with that particular site, that's when she first started doing her YouTube channel. And so um, that means money. Uh, so she had just started creating content on YouTube. She likes to animate and do like gaming videos okay. and stuff. And she was doing stop motion with Legos and dolls. And so um, what we did is we created like a video portal. So and we signed, we created a membership site so that um, girls could join for free to watch her content. But then if they wanted to like contribute or whatever, they could, you know, create, like they could become um, paid members. So we set that up. And then, um, you know, even before that, she had just this entrepreneurial spirit. So I'll give you an example. She mentioned that she likes to draw and she has some other things she wants to share. So she used to do these comics and um, literally we would go to Trader Joe's and the little girl would have made copies of her comics. And she'd be like, comics for sale. Oh my, my God. And, yeah. and who am I to tell her not to? You know, exactly. You know, Girl Scouts selling somebody else's cookies. They used to have us out, you know, going door to door selling stuff. And we never got anything. So she would literally be in Trader Joe's. And of course, a lot of people ignored her, but some people would be like, oh, you're so cute. And so they do that. Then she would be outside. I have this adorable picture on my um, Instagram highlights of her with a row of cookies, mud, mud pie cookies that she designed. And she took little flowers from our yard and leaves and she made these different kinds of cookies. Yeah. Okay. I actually, I, I'm, I, I mean, they probably didn't eat it, but I, I like, I suspected that they didn't, but I actually got these three teenagers to eat it, and when I came back, like, I looked around to see if they had thrown it somewhere, they were in the exact same place, holding a <laughs> cookie, and they were kind of like, so I think they actually ate the cookies and thought they were chocolate. Well, they were good actors. Which oh, we, my God. Absolutely. So she literally was selling the mud cookies to the neighbors and uh, she went out on the porch and laid out her art and she literally, there's no one on the street. We live in a cul-de-sac. She goes out in the middle of the street and she's like, art for sale, you know? And so like one day I remember one of our neighbors came outside and was like, okay, the girl down the street is selling some art. Let me go check her out. And she came and, you know, bought some of her, her art and, and she tried to haggle her too on one that she really liked. She was like, nope, I'm not selling that one for less than like $50 or whatever. This one it is- was oh, it was $1,000. Oh, $1,000. It was a drawing of heaven that really did not look uh, really nice. Like it. It. Yeah, but like now that I remember it, it honestly didn't look good. Like I barely remember wow. it, but I see it being like eight-year-old style. So, but but yeah. she would not sell it. So that's the one the girl wanted. So she did recognize that it had some value but anyway so that kind of all led up to you know that was her own entrepreneurial like sure. instinct maybe you know partly inspired by the work that that we do um but you know once she had done her site and everything I was like okay she's being consistent she's putting in the work right so this her you know what we decided to do of course with the pandemic and everything and that's not traveling as much um we uh put her in an e-commerce class and so she created a Shopify store she mentioned having an e-commerce store on, mm -hmm. on Wix she created a, um, a Shopify store and started doing building her Instagram accounts and and things like that so it all came from that early instinct and so now we're putting her in classes to support that and like out school classes on uh, financial management uh, entrepreneurship for kids NFTs you know things like that to you know support her entrepreneurial mm -hmm. spirit Wow. And, and I'll say this too, she, you know, our school does this uh, personality testing. Of course, kids' personalities are still developing. So sure. you can only gather so much, but she's, you can see her moving around. She's got tons of energy. Mm -hmm. um, she's a kinetic learner. And so yeah. she doesn't do well just sitting in a classroom, learning information, just she's going to be so bored. So she's got to have different things going on and be able to move around. And so us knowing part of her learning style helps us to kind of accommodate her unique personality in the way that you know, we offer instruction so that we can maximize her talents and support any other areas um, accordingly. You know, that's, um, I'm glad you brought that up because that was one of the things that I wanted to mention is that, you know, uh, all of what you talked about, especially the natural learning, it takes me back to like um, Reggio Emilio or uh, Montessori style 
uh, teachings that allow the child to learn in, at their own pace and in a natural environment. Therefore, um, their creative and innovative mind is able to kind of flow and flourish as opposed to be cramped in this kind of very systematic, rigid type of learning process. And I mean, just hearing you all share your story and watching Nala Rocks share all of her products that she has is just a testament to the importance. And, you know, those of you all who are listening, you know, I think it's important for us to recognize that our youth, young adults, um, and even ourselves, we have dreams. We come in here inspired to this earth, inspired with this creative mindset and oftentimes life can knock us down and we you know get just uh derailed but i think one of the key things that you all have exemplified um today is the importance of encouraging one another and giving outlets being um supportive of that outlet and i think now it is a better time is no better time than now i think to really take advantage of the opportunities that are available to our youth and young adults because there's so much online right now that's free and you've mentioned quite a few sites that you all have utilized so as we are coming to the end and wrapping up this podcast um nala rocks i want to know from you you know there may be young folks who are listening to this as young as you or maybe even younger that are inspired about you and how you've done what you've done and maybe asking themselves questions about could they do this too but what's your call to action for those that may be listening um, to you and like man she's so cool I want to do that too like what would you say be yourself and find great website ah those are really two i think that is the best advice you can give to any age be yourself and find a site that's free you know something else that you did um say earlier that i think is really important is that or what i heard from you is that you weren't afraid to create something and change it I think a lot of times people create something, they're either afraid to change it or afraid of like failing or whatever. And it sounds like you don't have that. You're like, ah, that doesn't work. I'm going to change it. Is that kind of like how you are? Like you're okay with making changes? Uh, well, when I do my art and I realize I missed something, I'm like, oh, wait a minute, let me make a duplicate so I can add the background to it. And I was like, hmm, this background is nice, but let me make two more duplicates to see how it looks this way. Oh, let me make another duplicate and mix them all together. Or uh, here, let me make another duplicate and add the background. Here, let me make another duplicate and add some more details. Uh, so- And you did that with your, well, with your YouTube channel too, you decided to do something, you kind of pivoted when you launched your, shop right you want to talk about that oh yeah i've um just like made all my videos i mean there's like a couple more like stop motions that i meant to remove like the only things that i'm leaving on the on the business channel was my valentine's day special and um, and my and my um top 10 best roblox games video um so but you created a, a new one too, right? Yeah, I made a new Dollar Rock Lightning channel so I could put stuff like that on there. And so you recognize that there was content that you had out there that may not represent your brand the way you wanted it to, and you were comfortable with making those changes? Yeah, I just made everything. Wow. Else. Now I realize I have to make it private because it, you know those little lists that say most popular video this playlist, that playlist, like it was showing them in a playlist. When you set something to unlist it, if you put it in a playlist, there's yes. this which people can still see it. Oh, well, that's good to know. I didn't know that. Mom, what would be the call to action um, that you would um, share with our listeners? Um, uh, so, you know, for her, did you want to mention your website again and show them your other notebook before I uh, 
Wow, I have this notebook. I forgot to mention it earlier with the other. Oh. So this is a prototype. It did get messed up. I, I actually ordered a reprint, um, but now they won't give me a third reprint because I found out it was because that they looked at the product and they said because this was supposed to be bigger it didn't cover the whole thing and so they were like sorry we can't give you another reprint we're totally not being rude just saying it was your fault <laughs> so um so so um this is one this one did get messed up i'm planning to order another one and i'm also probably gonna i'm probably gonna have like a whole collection of all the character crew notebooks because they're just like so cute so this i i drew this and then made the background and camp and it also has this on its side. So this Wait, is- Wait, you drew, so there's art on, so what, for those of you all who are listening, it's a notebook and she has created the um, art on the exterior of the notebook um, that has a character that you, you said you sketch you sketched that, you drew that? Yeah, so I, I use my, I actually, I- Oh my gosh, it makes me just like so angry, like throw the book across the room when I think about this. Like I have an old iPad that that I, I am actually supposed to return it to my school because I got a new one. And like it's um I, I do all the character group stuff on that iPad. And then I just got back my back my new iPad. And on my new iPad, I have stuff that I wasn't able to finish because I changed my art style. I'm like, gosh, oh. girl, why'd you have to take away my iPad? Because you didn't hurt it. <laughs> terrible reason i hate when that happens but anyway Wait. i i got i got i i i, I made this i i um Who is this this is this is cat she has an older sister named sasha it's on the kitty girls club instagram shop underscore kitty girl club one of the newest posts your your fave your favorite color is your character that will show you like all the characters what their favorite color is and what whichever color that you like the most that is mentioned in that is the character that you are so oh. this, is, this is Kat she is the younger sister of Sasha she has no last name currently um so this is uh it's a journal so she's got like this collection and she's got the kitten crew collection which was inspired by the cats we found in our backyard last year i'm actually working They're on I'm, I'm actually i that just reminded me i have to make some kitten crew notebooks i'll work on that today so she th there's a backstory to that collection that she shares on her instagram and everything but she's got the journals and the t-shirts and all the swag that's based on her characters and then she has some other um products like she has the best friends collection that she's been highlighting and all of those instagrams everything she does that yeah, I so, cannot keep up uh, with any of that I just like review so like you know she knows that there's protocol around what's appropriate yeah, and not but. yeah so like a, a couple of my products I like drop ship them from, from AliExpress like I have to go and I like I find like I search like for example I search like Hawaii candy charms if I'm making like my 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 cute candy collection and uh, yes and so I I search that I find a product I like I get the Chrome extension Oberlo. I hover over that product and I'll click at, or, or I click it and I'll say add to Oberlo. So I go to Oberlo, it will add it to the import list. I can edit it, the title, the pricing and stuff. And then I can So add it, it's add all it her. Because <laughs> I don't even it, know how to do all that. It uh, really is. <laughs> but it yeah, really is. Her, yeah, her dad has his own shop too, and they have worked together um you know, over the summer and that's their, you know, kind of co-learning. Um, or father daughter, you know, business time. Um, so that is uh, cutiegirlsclub.store. Yeah, cutiegirlsclub.store. And uh, she mentioned a couple of her her handles. So she has um, it's Nala Rocks Lightning. Yeah, at it's Nala Rocks Lightning on Instagram. Like, like um, lightning is spelled like lightning bolt. My mom and my dad both made some mistakes and mentioned me in posts and and did my store and stuff called me lightning. Nala Rocks Lightning. And I'm no like, typo. Oh gosh, no. Branding no, is everything. That was I, out of I, I, I was like, oh my gosh, are, are they being discriminatory against me because I'm because oh, I'm no, short no, and I'm no. light, lightning? I'm I, I'm not <laughs> growing. I'm getting smaller. <laughs> You even are a comedian. Oh my gosh. Oh, Is there nothing honey, that she cannot the do? The other day, look, she had one of her ES check-ins. It was like the day before yesterday, I think. And um, so she was supposed to get her pre-algebra book 
and show what she's been doing in, in there. And so she's like off to get it. And she comes back with a drawing that she did in the time she was off screen of like math for unbeginners. And I'm like, girl, oh, this is not the time for that. So later on in the evening, I was like, you know, okay, your hijinks, I, I didn't really love your hijinks, you know, earlier. And she was like, mom, when are people gonna realize that I'm a comedian, kind of. But I, she- Seriously, her comedic so, timing is there. Girl, you should hear the jokes that she'd be telling. I mean, this child, like Renaissance <laughs> kid, Renaissance baby girl, that's what she is right here. But okay, so for me, my call to action would just be to edify her. I dropped my uh, tech funding equity plug earlier. Of course, Diversity Ventures is diversityb.com. And my uh, my handle is Diversity B or Tech Funding I um, uh, Tech funding eq or um light a star personally is, is my handle on twitter and whatnot and i'm very active on linkedin so that's a great place to find me nala rocks lightning also has a linkedin profile if you want to follow her antics and yeah we we really enjoyed being on your show and, um, before we jump off i just wanted to mention um when i make somebody i mean like you, you, I, I know that you guys are probably gonna say oh she's just going to spend all the money making that fancy customized mansion of hers and then it has for her parents and her friends but no i am going to save some money to donate to orphanages and animal shelters and maybe even build my own animal shelter because i love animals and i love children and wow. some of them need help so yeah you know what i that is not something that we touched on is that social impact and i love that you made sure to reference that this is not just about you making money and having wealth for you and your family this is about you also giving back um not only just to youth but also your passion with animals thank you all for tuning in to another episode of papacito again if you are interested in learning more about who we are and what we do you can find out uh, find out more about us on wetheplug.com you can also subscribe to our youtube channel to get the latest updates on content that we're putting out thank you all again for joining us remember to stay safe continue to feed your creative higher self we look forward to connecting with you soon. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.